Greetings from Oahu, Hawaii. My name is Sean and I'll be talking to you today about growing your own herbs and some of the health benefits of those herbs. Alright, so here our first plant we have rosemary and some of the benefits of rosemary include increased blood circulation and it can also kill bacteria. Um, those who have asthma can also benefit from this. It improves mood and it can actually also prevent cancer cells from growing. So we're going to take our rosemary and we're going to transfer it over into this pot so we can let it grow big and large. And rosemary requires a combination of sun and shade to grow well. Alright, so here we have cilantro. Cilantro is available pretty much in any grocery store. Um, in our case we also bought a pot of cilantro. Uh, some of the benefits of cilantro is it has actually been shown to reverse the effects of autism and Alzheimer's. <laughs> so, we have cilantro and of course we'll be repotting this as well. And this here we have peppermint um, and the oil of the peppermint contains vitamin A, vitamin C, omega-3 as well as several minerals and the oil itself can also aid in indigestion as well as coughs, colds and even asthma. And here we have mint leaves. Mint leaves obviously are used as a breath freshener, they're used in toothpaste as well as, well as several other um, oral products. Um, mint is also beneficial because just the scent itself can relieve nausea and even headache. And our last one here is celery. Um, celery has been known to actually reduce blood pressure and also aids the digestive system. So here what we're showing is the papaya fruit. Um, the papaya is beneficial because it supports the cardiovascular system, it boosts the immune system, and also aids in digestion. Yeah. And this here we have a banana tree. And as we all know, bananas are loaded with potassium. And some of the benefits of potassium is that high amounts of potassium can actually lower blood pressure as well as maintain good bone health. Alright, alright, alright. So, now we're going to get to potting. So, obviously first, you know, we need some, uh, we need some soil. Important part of growing, growing your uh, anything, growing anything good, is you have to have good, healthy soil. Got to give it lots of water. Got to take care of it. You know, some people think uh, they can just buy a plant and let it sit, and oh, nature's gonna take care of it. No, no, you have to take care of it. It's like a, it's like a baby. You know, you gotta, you gotta give it food. You gotta feed it. You gotta take care of it. You gotta watch it grow big. You know? We always hope we have healthy kids. Alright, so now we're gonna, we got our soil. We're gonna just make ourselves a nice little space here. And let's start with our first plant. Now, this is uh, where you have to be really careful. You wanna take out Kind of with a squeeze and push motion. And barely a pull. Bring this in. Put this in here. Alright. Now, we have successfully repotted. So, take. You want to be gentle with the plants always. We don't want to, we don't want to bend kink or twist any of the vines or the branches or whatever kind of plant you have. It doesn't really matter. 
always want to take care. Always want to be careful. Just pat the soil down a little bit. There you go. You want to water it, you don't want to overwater it because that will kill it as well. You want to make sure that the soil is nice and moist. And here we have nice and moist. Now we're good. Find a nice spot right here. Yep. This guy is uh, this guy's gone. Shoot right there. Alright. All right, now we're gonna go to the next ones. Now we're just going ahead and filling all the rest of these so we can prepare the pots for replanting. Once again, it's really, really important that you use good soil because if you have poor soil, your plants are going to grow poorly. Um, the good thing is these days you can buy good soil. You don't have to go find a plot of land and pray to God that there's rain and make offerings to the wind and all that stuff. You got Home Depot. Utilize it. <laughs> now we're just preparing our pot again. We're going to start with the with the celery, this is the celery. Once again, the way you want to take this out is you want to carefully, gently, gently grab, push. And grab it at the bottom here. Try not to grab as little on the plant as you can. All right, and I actually forgot to mention, before you pot it in, what you want to do is you want to kind of pull, kind of loosen this here pull those roots out. You see those roots coming loose? So we're gonna go ahead and spread the roots, pull it apart right here. Um, it may seem like you're breaking it, uh, which actually we are breaking it a little bit, but what we're doing is we're loosening up the roots and the broken roots are gonna be allowed to grow further and longer. If we just pot it in the way we usually do it, uh, the way I did it previously, um, what actually is gonna happen is it's going to grow in a circle like this and it's going to take a long time for the roots to expand. So we're just going to pull the roots apart. Now we got to the last plant. Um, let's get to it. Uh, the last one is the mint leaves. And I kind of pre-prepared everything. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I meant by breaking the roots apart. This white over here, these are all the roots. And because it's in this container, it grows in a circle and it can't grow past that, which is why we need to replant. So once again, we're gonna just start breaking apart.
Now when you do this, you always want to plant with love. Um, plants are life, just like human beings are life. We all have a right to live in this, on this earth. If you don't grow your plants with love, if you think, if you, think you could just throw a plant to a pot and uh, hope it grows, it's not going to grow. In fact, it's going to die. Uh, so, always, always, with love in your hands. Step to any gardening procedure is water and plenty of it, especially when you use new soil because the soil tends to dry out in the bag. Um, it does contain some moisture, but for the most part, it dries out, especially if you leave the bag open. Uh, in our case, we had the bag left open, so we're going to give them enough water. Once again, not too much but enough to have healthy plants. And in about one month, um, they'll be about a foot. In about two to three months, they'll be about two feet. And you'll have a good, healthy plant that will continue to grow, provide you with nutrients as long as you provide it with nutrients. And that's it. Cheers, man. What a growing uh, herb today. Oh, before we cheers. Yeah? In, in Three months, along with other assorted vegetables, you can make smoothies like this. All right. Loaded with vitamins, loaded with minerals, loaded with antioxidants, and just immune-boosting benefits. So, and what grandma do for you? Then? Yep, this is what Omo makes. Okay, that's from all this uh, herb, huh? Yeah, this is uh, Oma. There, there's Oma. What is? What's in here? Oh yeah, Oma is coming there. Apple, apple, banana, um, rosemary. Mint leaf? Mint leaf. Um, celery? Celery. And uh, kiwi. Kiwi. And orange. Orange. And cranberry juice. How about grapes? And grapes also. And, grapes. and spinach. Mm. And spinach. Organic spinach. Alright. Yeah. Alright, All buddy. A lot of uh, herbs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Woo. man. Woo -hoo. Hi, everybody. There's uh, Solomon and uh, my grandson, Sean, he did the uh, yard today. He plant some uh, herbs, like the celery, the mint leaf, the cilantro, and the rosemary, we have that too. So, Sean, I hope your plant gonna grow in one month, two months. First month is gonna be maybe like one feet high, and we're gonna enjoy that just like what we have in here right now. That is the smoothie that my wife did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, happy healthy life. Acai berry also. And acai berry, all right, acai, acai berry. berry. We all forgot right. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, man. Grow your own vegetable and your purple so you can drink the fresh stuff. Yeah. <laughs>